Hey, and welcome to ES Forgotten. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you a Portuguese medieval castle. This castle is called Castelo de Montemorno, but it's been abandoned for several years and it's now being restored and open to the public. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you a sneak peek of an abandoned abbey. This convent held hundreds of monks, and it's located in the middle of nowhere. A perfect and quiet place for the monks. Join me in my first episode of Portuguese Medieval Castles. As you see in the title and thumbnail, today I bring you a different video. This castle that I'm right now, it's called Castel de Montmor Novo. It's a really old castle. I'm gonna tell you the story a little bit later. But this castle was abandoned for years and years and it's now being restored. That's why I'm making a video because of course they are not going to repair all the walls and everything but they are trying to make this place look uh, good again because before that it was just a bunch of ruins it's good to preserve and do like at least path walks to people visit this place As you can see, most of the, the walls and structures, like for the example that arch was closed, there was something there, and this church too, like some things have been changed over the years, but for the most part it's all destroyed. So glad they are doing something with this place, and look at the view, this is just breathtaking yeah, i love i love this part of portugal it's just beautiful do you see the broken rocks literally this was some houses or stuff this was a road you see these rocks are for road those are for construction it's I don't know how to explain what's the difference between the rocks, but yeah, I want to see that church because the castle, this, all of this was walls until there. So this is a huge place, but I want to see that church. This is what I wanted to see. This was a church right now this place it was a church that <laughs> it doesn't exist now like nothing oh 
it's 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 really hard to imagine this as a church. Like I can see this being a church but it's so hard, it's so destroyed. But we can see like the old architecture of this building. Yeah. This is really cool. Oh my god, there's the stairs. Okay, new adventure, let's go. Oh, I feel spider webs. This is so narrow. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's just to the altar. Okay, let's go down. And try not to fall in here. Some type of stairs in here. Okay. Wait, wait. This this wall, this this wall was built after because this is the original wall of the church. You barely can see you barely can see it but you see the arch it's so sad that these places got rebuilt and rebuilt and lost the, the original structure but it's still beautiful okay imagine this this is being the entrance of the church. That's the church, no roof, no nothing. But this is cool, this is like the original pillars that hold this wall. It's so cool. It was some symbols in there. I don't know. I don't know if you can see because <laughs> it looks like rocks, but there are symbols around the the whole entrance of this door. So really cool. They are still building the stairs, so it's just blocks. <laughs> it's cool that we have the, we can see this place being like restored. I can't get enough of this view. It's so so. It's I, I can see so long like in this part of Portugal there's no mountains so it's just land and land and land and land. Oh my god. Okay, I see a date 1976. I don't know. I hope there's no fire. Okay, now the history. During the Christian reconquest of the Iberia Peninsula, the, the king, Dom Sancho II, ordered to build uh, a lot of things. And they think this castle was built in 1203. They are not sure, but they think it's around that time. This castle was rebuilt, destroyed and rebuilt a bunch of times. And in the 15th century, the castle suffered a major uh, remodelation work because they needed to be bigger but in 755 because of an earthquake known as the Lisbon earthquake some of the walls and structure of this place got knocked down but that's not the only reason this castle got destroyed this castle was used in a few wars especially in the peninsula war and this castle was used between 18 28 and 1834 that's the years of the war and it was used by the major liberal troops that was on the command of Marshal Duke Saldana. In the 20th century most specifically in 1929 one of the towers was restored and a few years passed and some of the walls fall and a lot of the, the, the structure of these walls is just stone as you can see 
is just stone and sand which makes these walls fragile but really strong that didn't make sense but like for weapons like bullets and everything this is really strong but for earthquakes or like natural stuff this is really weak because if the the earth shakes everything in here shakes and falls down in 1937 and 1945 there was a lot of reconstruction on this place but this is so big that they can't repair everything so what they are doing now is just restoring the the path walks for people to visit this place because it was abandoned for so long that they just want to show the people what's left of this castle because of the wars and everything so I think they are doing amazing job like look at this this is not finished of course but this is becoming pretty nice they have a garth tower and this is like really beautiful and really peaceful this side it's the city Mont Morneau yeah Sadly, we can't go to the towers because it's all closed. But it's still nice to see this place. you saw literally it's just dry land me and my father are gonna see another thing I, I was not going to film this but I'm here might as well just put in a video so I don't know if you can see but there's like a tower up there yeah so that's where we're going finally you don't think I can get in just want to see this quickly because I know it's overgrown, destroyed. Okay, I'm just going. Oh my God! This is more destroyed than I than I knew. Split in half. Oh my God! This is beautiful. Very destroyed. It's really beautiful. I know people have photos of the the roof all like all complete because this fall, this thing fall down like a few years ago, not that long ago. But it's such a shame that these places are like in the middle of nowhere and get destroyed and history gets forgotten you know that's why I'm doing this because I want history to be preserved at least these like beautiful things you see these paintings like back in the days they didn't have like a lot of materials to do like churches and stuff so they just painted the walls and it's oh my god look at that ceiling the ceiling is beautiful Really love the colors. Oh my God. Damn, 
this was a giant abbey. So this place is called Convento Monfurado. It's a really old abbey and really dark. I don't know if you can see me or not. I'm going here. It was built in the 18th century and a lot of monks lived here. My god, this is so beautiful. It's sad that it's destroyed, but. And a lot of monks lived here and stayed here. This is a secluded place, so it's uh, what normally um, monks and people that want to pray like, like this secluded places. I'm just, I'm just walking. I, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me or not. A little bit of light. This convent, like the, the castle, suffered a lot with the earthquake, 1755 earthquake, the Lisbon earthquake, and they restored half of the convent, but it stayed in decay, and it was inhabited until the 20th century, so not that long ago, but this place was already in a lot of decay state, so people just left it and now it's really falling down. Like this is crazy, not gonna even step there, but this is just breathtaking, really beautiful. I just had to make this quick stop to show you this convent and Maybe I'll do a complete video on this place one day, but yeah, I just had to make a small video about this. Okay, I think this is like an altar and someone, the, the coffin of someone was here, you know? That's to put some statues of saints. Yeah, me and my father are just walking around and seeing this place and it's just huge. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that's a chimney and this whole space was of, of course was closed, but it has this pillar in the middle and I think this was a kitchen. It's <laughs> literally are trees growing inside, but this is crazy. This place is gigantic. Really. <laughs> I can I, I could lost myself in here. My god, this even goes further and further. Okay, maybe one day I'll do a video in here. Oh my god, this has a tower. Oh it's the the clock tower. You see it? God, okay, I have to do a video in here one day, but for now, I hope you guys liked this week's video. It was different, it was a castle that's not technically abandoned, it was abandoned, not, uh, now it's not. But I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, it helps me a lot. Leave a comment telling me what you think about this type of videos if you want to see more. Portuguese castles are different and abbeys. So if you want to see more of these places and more of the Portugal history, just leave it down in the comments so I know. As always, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao! And I have a spider on me. Hey! Yes, yes, everyone is talking English now. Sorry, sorry. No speak English. No, habla inglés. No, habla inglés. No, francés, francés. Francés. Oh. I'm so awkward. There's so many people working, and I feel so awkward recording in public. Oh my gosh.
excuse me. Okay. Pardon moi. This abandoned convent held. This abandoned cov. It's. Join me in my. Join me in my per. per, per first. <coughs> Família de malucos. Eu sou um deles, mas pronto.